Okay, I'm now going to show people how to fix the Windows 8 problem with ATI Catalyst Control Center. Now, as you can see here, this is the problem people are having. Whenever it wants to load. Okay, the problem people are having is that they have only four options when they open Catalyst Control Center or AMD Vision Engine Control Center, which it's called now. And these four options are the standard ones for power and performance. They don't have any options to fix the display properties or for overdrive or color change or contrast, anything like that. Most of the settings are missing on this on this one anyway, so that's the main point. So first you're going to need Windows 7 driver for Catalyst Control Center, 12.6, and you're going to need the Windows 8 driver which you probably already have if you've been trying to fix this before, is 12.10. That's the new one for Windows 8. Uh, the pages look like this, but I'll put a link in the description anyway. Okay, so first, you're, you're also going to need CCleaner. Uh, that can be found online if you just google it it'll be ccleaner or i'll put a link in just in case okay so the first thing you're going to need to do is to open up control panel go to programs and features and remove the amd catalyst install manager When you go to uninstall it, there's an option at the bottom on mine. It's not on everybody's, I've been told. Express uninstall all AMD software. Okay, then you're going to want to go to computer and delete on the C drive, you're going to delete this folder, AMG. Some people have uh, two folders, another one that will say ATI. You can also go ahead and delete that. Okay, just delete that completely out of the system. It's not a, that's not an option, that's not needed. I just do that myself. Okay, then you're going to run CCleaner. You're going to go to registry and scan for issues. Okay, now this is the one particularly you're looking for is the obsolete software key. This is the, the reg file for ATI, okay, but you can delete all of them here anyway. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, but if you can isolate this one if need be, if you're worried, just isolate this one, you can unclick, but in my case I only have two, so I'm just going to go ahead. Um, it is advised to make a backup here if you're worried. I, I don't because I, I, I know what that file is, so that's okay. Okay, we close out of that. And now you should have no option here where you previously, previously had AMD is now gone. Just to verify, this is Windows 8, in case anybody's worried. Just bring up the menu there. Okay, so now what you need to do is go to the device manager, which is brought up with the Windows key, and pause break key, or break for some keyboards where they're separated. You're looking for Windows and break. This option will come up. Go to device manager. Then you look for your display driver. And mine is the ATI Mobility Radeon HD 40 or 4500 5100 series. Now my model is actually 5145, but that falls under the 5100 series. So you go ahead and you uninstall this. 
your, you click the option delete the driver software for this device. Now when I click this the screen will go black so don't worry every GPU that's out there at the moment will act as a video card anyway so I shouldn't lose screen after that it should just go black and then come back. Okay as I said the screen did go black uh, this also turned off my video recording software which is to be expected anyway but to get back to where you are you just click this scan for hardware changes after you have uninstalled your display driver um, scan for hardware changes and this will bring this back now it is advised that you download the correct driver for your specific um, display, dri display adapter in my case, it's the 4100 or 4100 series or the 5100 series. Sorry. Um, for other people, you'll have to find out which uh, which display driver you have. You can do that by going into DX Diag. and it will tell you the type of uh, display adapter that you have exactly to the T. Now mine's listed here, this is the 5100 series. Okay, so if you're not sure which driver you have, this is where you'll find it. Okay, from here, now that my drivers are all back and I have nothing here, everything is uninstalled, I go to Windows 7 12.6 and I install that. When you install uh, the new the 12.6 version, go to custom, just so you can choose what you need to install. Go next, click yes to creating the ATI technologies folder. This is because we have just deleted the AMD folder that we previously had, so you click yes. Okay, as you can see here, you have a hell of a lot more options than you previously had. that you didn't have when you installed the 12.10 version for Windows 8. Click Next, Accept. Okay, installation is complete. As you can see on this version, on 12.6, it doesn't come up with installation complete. There is warnings, this kind of thing. When you install the 12.10 version, it does have a couple of warnings, and I believe that is because when AMD made the driver for Windows 8, they made it relevant only to certain graphics cards that were released with their laptops. For example, a new laptop bought in the, or computer, PC at all, bought in the store for the new Windows 8 machines. And they didn't focus on the previous graphic, uh, graphic processors that were out already. So we go to finish. Now we have AMD Vision and Engine Control Center available to us again. We just click and see if we have back all of our abilities. You may have to click this twice sometimes just as the first time because it's still getting used to the machine. <laughs> or in my case, three times. There we go. And you can see you have all of your access back. We have built-in displays. So now you can choose to put in full screen centered. You know, the more resolution you have, this is the laptop, so the resolution isn't as high because it's just a 15.6 screen. But you have more options here depending on your resolution. You have the ability to change color and you have the overdrive and gaming abilities back that were previously missing. <laughs> 